So are these your sheep? They are my sheep. Pierce and his pigs. How's everybody doing? As you can see by the title, we are at the Pottawatomie County Fair in Avoca, Iowa. Last week we were I-80 West and this week we're I-80 East. <laughs> we're making our rounds. A lot different than the last time I was out here. If you've been following me for a little while, I did camp here and I think it was about four or five months ago, freezing cold. So we have different conditions for that. We have a couple of surprises I was going to show you real quick, but I'll uh, we'll get to that. Super excited to be here. My uh, nephew Pierce is really involved with the fair out here, and I just wanted to talk some Iowa farming, some Iowa livestock, uh, stuff that feeds the world. I think it's important. So we'll have my nephew Pierce should be stopping by here pretty soon. We are getting all set up. It is crazy. This place here, let me show you real quick. This place is absolutely, look at this. I'm backed in. I think I got one of the last sites available and I don't even know if I'm in a site. I'm just, I just, there was a post open. So I backed up to it. I haven't even gone paid yet or anything. We are packed, <laughs> which is awesome. Last time I was out here, I couldn't have been more alone. <laughs> All I had was the high school over here, the lights from that. It's kind of fun to see these campgrounds in uh, different situations and different conditions. We're going to explore the fair. Thank you for being here. My name's Dave. Welcome to Van Camp 402. I am a retired Omaha firefighter. If you're new here, great to have you and thank you so much. We're going to uh, make this a good one. Our uh, temperature isn't too bad. It is 76 in the van right now. It's like 83 or something out here. The humidity is through the roof. I do have, and thank you, Brian, <laughs> I appreciate it. Huge shout out to you. We're gonna see how this works. I did bring, we're gonna try and live in a little luxury tonight. What do you think of that? We are going to attempt to run, and hopefully this uh, circuit breaker holds. We're gonna attempt to run some air conditioning in here tonight. We are plugged in, and why not? Here, let me show you. Well, my neighbor was kind enough to allow me to uh, borrow his air conditioning. I think what my plan is, I'm gonna set it right up here in the front seat, do the hose out there, put the drain bucket right down here and we'll see how this works. Fingers crossed. Are we, you ready? This thing's heavy. Wow. Whoo, <laughs> that thing's big. If it works, it'll be cold in here. <laughs> Okay, we're good. Fan, air, air conditioning. I think it's showing the air conditioning. That'd be the air conditioning symbol to me. Fan. Let's get it down to 72 in here. Oh, that is awesome. Hopefully it doesn't uh, trip the breaker. It's saying 80 in here right now. Okay, I'm gonna hook the uh, tubing up. Check out my handiwork. We are running, temperature's dropping already. I'm using my, sorry, I'll get out of the wind there. I'm using those uh, bug screen things. I just put half of it in. The exhaust is running out like that. Back side is draining here into this bucket. Brian, thank you. Let's see how this works tonight. I might have air conditioning. How crazy is that? It's warm in here. It's saying, yeah, still saying 78. This thing's cranking. It's kind of exciting. I still didn't get registered. I stopped over to talk to the camp host. So let's go get checked in real quick. I don't want to get in trouble out here. And then we have another, uh, we have one more thing we're going to uh, be installing today. We have power. We're running. Let's go get paid and uh, be all legal here. Well, we have been here before to uh, register. I don't know if you guys remember from that last video, but here we are. We are in the bathrooms here. We're gonna give this a uh, 
good solid one thumbs up. It's kind of dirty. The main toilet doesn't work. Showers aren't bad, but it's pretty rough. And also, if you need some stuff, some guy left his uh, stuff here for you if you need it. All right, we're out. There are the uh, fairgrounds here. I need to uh, fix that window real quick. See how this is, uh, oh, it's pushing some heat out. This will be the most uh, popular area during the fair, also known as the beer tent. <laughs> They've expanded this. I think last time we were here, it was just kind of a small little area off to the right over here. This is quite the structure now. All the action's gonna happen. Getting the uh, field ready. These bathrooms are better, <laughs> more modern. They need to uh, upgrade that campground. This is kind of over by the beer tent and all that. Two thumbs up, really nice setup. They need to fix the uh, campground restrooms and the showers. Because this, uh, this is a nice little building here. We are here a little early. They're getting set up for uh, kids events. Those buildings right there, in the video and if you get a chance go just look at the uh, open for that video uh, that's where I did where I ran across there in the middle of the night all the lights came on as I ran across which was just awesome uh, it's funny to be back here again but they are uh, they got some kids activities going over here and uh, really cool it's good to be back big tractors I'm surprised it still has a has a key start up there but uh, all computerized up inside good-looking machines farmers can come and uh, look at this stuff it's a big old tractor all these pens right now are empty and this is about to be uh, one of the uh, busiest places on the planet. From my understanding, tonight at like 9.30, they start bringing in the pigs. And they do that because they can't move them when it's hot out, which I didn't understand all that stuff. And hopefully, trying to find my nephew Pierce, uh, hopefully he gives us some uh, insight to all this, to this uh, world that's going on. Um, I did hear that I think sheep and goats are coming in just a few minutes so that'll be fun to see when they uh, bring all the sheep and goats in and then the pigs are later tonight and then uh, cattle are tomorrow so they're getting uh, geared up for the fair pick this deal up today i should be able to i'm going to use these magnets that i normally use since i have the air conditioner i don't need my bug screens today air conditioner is amazing it is so humid out here today we have uh, kind of thunderstorms rolling around a little bit. It's gonna be nice. So I don't have to use these for the bug screens and I'm gonna use these on the roof and attach this uh, tarp shelter. <laughs> I don't know, let's see how this goes. When I get a roof rack, then I can get an awning to uh, put out here. But I think for now this might work. You guys been out here? Oh, okay. That day, that one that was barn, here's just showing them the bigger one. I've been here since like we have made it this far we also have reinforcements huh do we have reinforcements what are you doing are you helping are you helping are you impeding the progress <laughs> ace has made an appearance a couple more steps while the setup uncle john is here we are ready <laughs> Holy cow, look at this thing. We got the dog right there. Look at this awning. Uh, 49 bucks at Walmart. Yeah, this is gonna work. 
that's a good deal. I'm just using the magnets up on the top. We have a nice little living area there. Perfect. Here, uh, walking around, and uh, Ace is the most uh, popular person in the affair right now. Our hero, Pierce, is here. So are these your sheep? They are my sheep. <laughs> Works out well. A lot of people use like a uh, ATV or something to walk them, but this is made it so I can walk them each at the same time. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yeah, ATV lawnmower. They just make like a little carousel thing, hook the sheep up and walk so they don't actually have to do anything. So what's the game plan with this? Showing them? <laughs> yeah, so you show Can you uh, educate me on? Basically for a sheep show, they won't have their halters on. You'll go here, grab them, and then you have to walk them like that. Uh, and then you kind of brace them up, so you'll set up their feet. So if you, if you can set up their feet here, they move forward. This okay. Kind of messes this one up, but then you basically show it like this. Uh, and just show, lift their head up? To pretty much lift their head, and then you hit them with their, your knee, so that way they brace their back. They brace up towards you. This one's market. This one's breeding, which means what will what produce future yeah. offspring. That's yeah. pretty much it. Nice. And then you also have pigs? I have five pigs, yep. Pierce is on it this year. <laughs> How you guys doing? <coughs> oh my goodness. You're tough. You're tough. Look at this. We have an awning. Not sure how it, much it's uh, wind rated, but that's gonna be nice. And it's time, let's get some dinner going. Time for my world famous, and you guys know I have a bunch of world famous uh, dishes, but uh, world famous chili dogs. Pierce is coming, and John and Heather. We'll all uh, we're gonna be doing dinner here real quick. Let's do this and this dinner tonight. Brookdale original chili, some of the finest I've ever had. John just showed up some baked beans with beef brisket to go with our chili dogs <laughs> i do have some chips a lot of beans tonight for dinner that should be uh should be pretty good though ace uh ace what are you doing you want to get in you want to get on the bean action heck yeah baked beans chili and what's in here john dogs dogs oh that's cooking up great it's gonna be a good meal Camp dinner tonight. Mm, side oh, of. Oh, yes. Everyone get your crash cart. <laughs> That's perfect. The, the Johnson family is here. They are ready. Pierce, what's going on later? What's going on? What's happening? What so, are we doing? We got weigh ins coming in for pigs. We did sheep earlier today. Uh, we got a weigh in just to see if they're able to show for market. So, and where are the pigs right now? Pigs are at Shady Brook Farms out in Oakland, Iowa. We got to go over there grab them, and then bring them back here to the Evoca campgrounds. We're gonna be there when you guys bring them back at what, nine o'clock? Yeah. yeah. Pigs are coming. Heading out to get pigs. There they go. Pierce is here and he's showing me his pigs and how he recognizes, because there are, what, five of them in here? And you're saying what, yeah. ear notches? So ear notches is one way. It's I kind of know them, not by number, but just kind of where they're at. So I know this one's mine. You can tell it different ways. So this is a crossbred. So it's two different breeds or more. It's right here, so I know. And this one's all black and then this one's blue in the pig world. I so the crossbred, uh, you're going off color. Pretty not... much, yeah, not so much breed. Like this one right okay. here, you can't see it, but it's, if I get my flash on, it's red. Oh, okay. So that's a Duroc because it's red and has floppy ears. So. That's a breed one, and then you can see you can see by the tag as well okay. that that's how someone else would identify it. That's not mine. And then if you know what like gender you're looking for, that's another way. Okay. They're pretty similar. All so right. like these two up here, they're very similar, except for one's a guy and one's a girl. It's, oh, okay. Then you can tell by ear notch, but that's about it. So ear notch is something. Are you is when they're little? Are you yeah. Putting so that you in? do it when they're little. You pretty much there's an ear notcher. You grab them out, you give them their shots, ear notch at the same time, sure. get everything done. Yeah, yep. get everything done. There you go. I got her. Never doubted you, man. Thank you. So what we're doing right now is uh, unloading off the trailers, getting into pens, and then this is where they do like a weigh-in. They have to present all their paperwork. 
curious, what you, so what are you doing? Weigh in, paperwork? Yeah. So you gotta weigh in, and if you have a purebred, you have to give, like, the fact that it is a purebred. So you have to get the proof. The pedigree or Yep, whatever. the pedigree. <laughs> so it's mom, dad, grandpa, grandpa. And you gotta weigh in to make sure they weigh 200 pounds, so that way market animals is more as you look for. Instead of show animal, you mean? Or? So, so there's a few different classes. Do you have there's, time for this? You good? Uh, so we have breeding, which are like more purebreds. Then you have uh, commercial, which are like crossbreds that you're gonna breed, so crossbred gilts is commercial. And then you have market gilts and market barrows. All barrows are pigs without their parts. Uh, oh, really? They're breeding okay. parts, yep. Oh, so they're not they're not, not breeders at all? Nope, just... they're pure get, and that's oh. all you can really use them for, and that's what most people eat on okay. a day-to-day basis are those pigs, especially the shell. They are delicious. <laughs> tiny was last year. Tiny. We love tiny. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a few different classes, and they have to weigh 200 pounds. Otherwise, you can't do, you can't get the premium for it, which is you get us like two pigs at the end, and you're rewarded for your hard work, and you can use the money you get. It's like an auction uh, oh, donation sure. system. Right. Uh, so you can use that for your next huge animal. Okay. Big stuff at the fair today. These are a little bit more behind the scenes, right? You know, most, most uh, folks don't see this. Would also have yeah I know well I'm just saying this is the okay. yeah. right now they're just getting a uh, paper getting paperwork stuff squared away a lot of stress and uh, a lot going on with uh, bringing the pigs in right now we're going back and uh, getting Pierce's pigs weighed so what they're doing right now is weighing the pig and making sure it makes weight So right now, what they were worried about is that it had to be over 200 pounds to be eligible. And this one is uh, 200 pounds. They do have this little uh, area to sit and kind of hang out. Right now, we're going to wash pigs. Um, they've got them weighed in. Everything's good to go. Uh, fair to get judged. Uh, which is actually a huge deal. And if you think about it, all the work, uh, you know, over a year's work of raising these pigs up and uh, getting this going. But this has been really, really cool tonight. I'm gonna leave them alone for a minute. It's real, it's kind of stressful for them right around this time. We're gonna try and get some photography here. I'm gonna drop some pictures in, head back to camp in a little bit. I may try and do a fire tonight, I haven't decided yet. I'll see you folks in the morning. slept in a little bit air conditioner running in here it was nice being able to have all the windows basically shut what is it yeah it's 65 in here right now which that's a pretty cool thing about this sleeping at night is the probably the coolest thing we need to get packed up and get out of here there's actually someone's already stopped by somebody wants my spot i'm here i i have it until what do they say like 11 or something i'm just going to try and be nice and get packed up and get out of here the fair has just been absolutely incredible we're going to get this monstrous air conditioner <laughs> picked up and put away you know you're in iowa i got woken to the sound of a crop duster which is always kind of cool all right let's get on the road everybody keen in again thank you for the cups it's just been awesome this has been a great episode thank you so much for being here pierce last night with the pigs and all that that was pretty cool that stuff couldn't be more important and i i don't think like people in new york understand how important farming and the community is that goes along with all of it that's what puts food on your table right there 
that was the uh, ground floor of all that. Cheers to all the uh, farmers in Iowa and Nebraska. Thank you for everything you do, all your hard work. We will see you guys on the next episode. Thank you again so much for being here. Everybody have a great week.